Welcome back to GMA3, everybody. A very special edition here of GMA3, and it is Friday. So it's Faith Friday here on our show. And as we approach now the 20th anniversary of the September 11th attacks, we'd like to take, of course, this time to remember, to reflect, and also be inspired. And as we reflect, we want to remember Michael Judge, FDNY chaplain, became the first certified fatality at Ground Zero. The man who stepped in to carry on his legacy is Father Christopher Keenan, who's joining us now. Carry on his legacy, but uh, Michael Judge was the one, he was a guy you lived with, and he was the one who got you, as you say, into the business right. of the church. I met him 59 years ago, and he was the inspiration and mentor for me becoming a Franciscan brother priest. This is incredible. Now that, now that you stand here all, all these years later, as we overlook the, the footprints what is it like for you to see this place, to think about this place, to, to be here once again? Well, it's also a place where I used to, with the firefighters for seven months yeah. at night, dig at the site, yeah. rake, looking for remains. So there's much that comes back to, to, to the realization of that. And also the fact that um, there were fires, there's 24 chemicals they test our lungs from for, with fires that were burning underneath for weeks. And, um, and so not only those who died that day, but now as of this morning, 257 of us have died from the toxins from there. Father Chris, you, you, you counsel families, certainly around that time, and firefighters. And we had our Dr. Ashton on earlier talking about some of those physical impacts that linger, but the mental ones do as well. 20 years later, are you finding you're still people that are needing your counseling and are still healing, if you will, from that day, and how? We all are needing uh, the, the grace and the gift of, of, of healing. And one of the gifts of that is, is that I myself had lost someone whom I lived with in 9-11, and so the families were wonderful uh, in welcoming me into their soul territory to journey with them in their grief and it was, it's been an awesome gift to be a part of their lives. We talk about the, the gift. We, this segment we do uh, every Friday. This is a special Friday, but uh, on Faith Friday, we always have a, a faith guest on, and we ask them to give our viewers uh, words of inspiration going into the weekend. And this is an incredible weekend. Um, so by all means, I'm going to give you the floor and give our viewers, uh, Americans, whatever words of inspiration you can going into the weekend. My inspirational message is more of a challenge. We need to pull it together and we need to uh, remember that our lives aren't for our own sake, they're for the sake of others and that we have to stop uh, reacting in fear and respond more with a sense of faith and trust in one another this craziness of us being fearful of those who are different than us. And uh, we're, we're all the same human beings. And so uh, what is it that we need each of us to do? How do we let our consciousness of these issues lead us to having a conscience about what we specifically, individually, and together need to do to ensure the fact that that we have the democracy, that all of these people over 20 years have died and suffered lifelong injuries to preserve for us. We need to get it together. Great inspiration and a challenge. Like you said, a lot of people miss that unity. Like would like to get back to that unity we felt uh, after 9-11. Who knows if we will get there, but certainly that's a good challenge to issue. Father Chris, it is Thanks, good to DJ. have you. Thank you so much for brother. spending time Thanks. with us, everybody. Father Thank you. Hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.